All right, guys, we are gonna finish King's River Trail today. Here we go. We are gonna do it, and we got Amanda here today. You guys requested a filmer, and she's going to do it. She opted in. So, we're bringing you some good content today, and wish us luck. We got this today. Third time's a charm. Let's do it. with some folks I like it we got a Yoda and a Jeep oh man they're all beefed up we'll see if I can keep up <laughs> all right so we got a couple couple folks we got a four-wheeler dirt bike that's come on 35s got a Jeep on 37s we got a Land Cruiser what's this on 35s. 35s. It's an 82. 82. Yeah, that thing is sick. <laughs> then we got the Ridgeline. We got Renegade. And then we have another Toyota. We'll see how far I can make it. I was just showing, uh, I think, what uh, Kevin called House Rock. But uh, that looks like a pretty hefty obstacle. So we'll see if I can make it. We'll make it one way or another. But... Uh, It'll be good. So join us for the trip. And I probably won't film most of the beginning because you've already seen it twice in other episodes. If you haven't seen those, go check them out. And I'll film past the point we got to uh, last time with Kevin. So you'll see all new trails today and how far Renegade can get. All right. See you on the trail. All right. So this is Steve. He's in his Tacoma. We got AJ, he's in his Tacoma. And Angela. Angela in their Jeep. And then James, James, James in his Toyota. Who thinks I'm gonna make it the whole way in the Ridgeline? Under my under my own power. Okay. All right, yeah. I think this can happen. I okay. Think yeah. All right. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we're gonna find we're out. Gonna find All out. right, let's party. <laughs> Best donut holder comes stock on a Honda Ridgeline. I'm just saying, Honda thought of everything. <laughs> All right, made it to Frog Pond. About an hour. Almost to where Kevin and I made it last time. Just gotta get up this thing. This thing caused me trouble last time. We'll see how much better it is this time around. Looking good. And this Jeep just crawls up stuff like it's no big deal. Do you, uh, Alicia? Angela. 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 Do you even hit the gas with this thing? Or do you just walk up it a little bit? <laughs> it crawls a lot. That's what I was telling her. I was like, I bet she's not even hitting the gas. <laughs> I do a little bit, yeah. That's crawls. awesome. And then downhill, you can just put it in like your manual gears and it just does it all on its own. You don't have to hit brakes. It like holds itself and does it. That's amazing. So, That's amazing. Jeeps are amazing. You should have gotten me on YouTube. I did some really sick things. Oh, well, if you're ever in front of me, I'll record it. <laughs> okay. All right, here goes AJ. He's got rear lockers. No big deal. Champion. Some really sick things. How old 12. is he? Twelve. Dude, epic, man.
right, we are to the point where we made it last time with Kevin. So we're gonna see how we do this. Tranny temp just came on, which is unfortunate. So that means I gotta be more careful with the tranny, but this is the house rock difficult part. So we're gonna go film some stuff. Oh boy. First uh, gatekeeper. <laughs> yeah, major gatekeeper. Yeah, the turning radius on this thing is... She's just gonna go right up there. Back up and come my way more so you miss that rock. At least she wants to go over it. I mean, if I had the Jeep, I would. <laughs> just, just... Yeah, just to, just to rub it in. <laughs> So narrow, dude. I don't think I'm gonna make that. Oh my gosh. Back up and bump it. So back up. Straddle both doors. Yeah. Done it! There you go. Full Who cares if you get a dent? Everyone that pays for the damages. <laughs> My bank account. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Give it a little more 
Voilà. Yeah, I saw the video. Well, she went over it. As you're on video recording me now, I'm definitely guilty. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll edit that out. Oh, good. good. <laughs> we'll cut that part out. It's okay. I think I don't have power to do that. I'm just trying to figure out a way to get these wings. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Basically, walk through it. bikers came in clutch later in the day so grateful for you guys I believe Steve was the father's name appreciate it guys I'll tell you right now, if I would have seen him actually wheel this, I would not have even attempted this. That was insane, but great job, man. I don't think that's gonna make it. This whole time, my tranny tent was high, 
but we were determined to try to get me up over this thing. But should have stopped. Just looking at that driver's side wheel, completely turned while the passenger side is not moving anywhere. Just destroyed that inner tie rod. Worst case scenario, it just doesn't work. Watch my driver's side tire. This is probably the third or fourth time it's done it. Almost completely turned to the left. The passenger tire stays straight. I have to say thank you to all you guys that were putting in so much effort to try to get me up over this obstacle. Maybe in the future I'll be able to get a low gear and make it. Well, I don't think I'm going to winch it up. I haven't told anybody yet, but I think this is the end for the ridge line on this trail. We'll not make it past this. So I think Frog Pond's the new place to uh, chill. So unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna make it, Amanda. But we found the limits of the ridge line, and to be honest, I feel if you had a lift kit. 
If it had a lift kit, well, it's what six inches. I, it needs a low gear. That's what it needs right now. Because it would have made it under that. It would have made it with a low gear, but it doesn't. So you got to bump it too hard, and then you lose momentum, and it just doesn't work. So unfortunately, I think this is it. But we found the limit, and to be honest, it's quite impressive. Okay. I mean, that's a... Yeah, if none of these rocks were here, we could drive through it. Oh, totally. <laughs> Let's get that guy out of here. But I think this is it. We found the limit of the ridge line with no low gears. Good times, though. All right, so I was just scouting a place to actually turn around at because I got to back down a little ways. But uh, I think it'll be fine. I'm sad. Very sad that I wasn't able to make it the whole way. I was really hopeful, thinking I would. Um, but I am, not gonna lie, tranny got real hot. Um, had my fan going, uh, the extra cooler, all of those things, and it just makes me nervous, because it. I know, I mean, you can smell tranny fluid, it's it's burned up pretty good. So, um, so hope I didn't damage the transmission at all, get it home change the fluid a few times to try to cycle through all the burnt stuff but this is this is the end on this trail for a Honda Ridgeline unless we get low gears we can get low gears and crawl right up it it's not gonna happen though Just the bump you lose all your momentum bumping it because you got to bump it so hard so you bounce the wheel starts spinning you lose all the grip all that stuff so it's just not not gonna be it okay. all right we're sitting here eating some hot dogs and wieners <laughs> what all you think about the ridgeline getting up this far i'm impressed i'm surprised i was pretty surprised i was impressed <laughs> <laughs> i mean you don't have to fib it just sucks that they can't go any farther that's it yeah yep yeah. that's what's gay about it not to go a little farther I, that. I think we build the clutches in the training and it'd make it up that get a little more grip get some bigger tires it won't. It, the problem is with bigger tires is the gears. Mm -hmm. I can't go lower on they gears. Gear they don't make other gears oh. for it. Time to sell the ridge line. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It's like I outgrew it. Damn it. Just get a Jeep. <laughs> for everybody who's watching, just get a Jeep. Don't do a Jeep. Don't do a Jeep. <laughs> Still does it, no problem. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Yeah, that was solid. We ate some lunch, parted ways. These guys went over the, the other gatekeeper and uh, James is gonna come back with us because he doesn't want to be out as late as those guys and uh, then come back, make sure we make it out. So let's hope the transmission holds and I think I'm gonna have to schedule a uh, time to get the clutches redone because we'll find out by the time we get to the end, but it felt pretty slip, sl uh, slippy, slickery. Like it wasn't, uh, wasn't getting what it needed, so we're gonna film James coming down this though. You're, re you're resting right on your pumpkin. Yeah. 
Yes, nice. Stack that rock and it was good. So go that way. That way, yeah. You're clear in the back. There you go. Slow, slow, slow. Okay, watch it. What? Slow, slow. You hit the muffler or the exhaust. <laughs> so when I bumped, I bumped too hard. Look at that arm. That is bent to sh Oh man. So now I'm gonna have like 30 point turns and hopefully can get it out of here. That sucks. You know it's messed up when one's completely turned while the other's straight. Mm-hmm. Definitely found the limits. You slide it in. This is Steve, I believe his name is. Lifesaver. Explaining how to change an inner tie rod. I'd never needed to do it before and didn't know you even could do it. So I thank him. Hopefully you see this and know that I appreciate all the help. Yeah, and then bring a tape measure and measure outside of the tires on front and back, and that takes the pressure off. Yeah, you at least get there. Yeah, so you're not just chewing your tires. Right. Yeah. Then, yeah. Then you're gold. Yeah.